What's up guys and thank you again for watching another episode of Footballers Advice. In today's video, I wanted to go over rejection and how to deal with it. The fact of the matter is, is you're going to hear rejection and no a lot more times than you're going to hear the word yes. And so if you're able to better prepare for this and understand how to deal with it, it's going to make it a lot more easier for you to keep pushing and keep going until you hear the word yes. Now understand, soccer is a subjective game. People view the game differently and how it should be played. So just because a coach says no, doesn't mean that you're a bad player and that you can't play professionally. It's just your style of play doesn't fit how they see the game. They may see the game one way and think that a certain system works best to play soccer, while your style actually fits a better system. So as you can tell, your style and their style doesn't match. So they may think, hey, this guy isn't good, he isn't ready to play professionally. However, if two coaches were to watch the same player in the exact same game, you could have two coaches that come out with two very different opinions. It just matters on what they value and what qualities they think are important. So if your qualities is something that the coach actually values, then he's going to think you're a player that can play professionally and that you are good enough. However, if you look at the other coach who may think your qualities doesn't fit the things that he's looking for, he doesn't think you're going to be able to play at the professional level. Again, it doesn't mean that you're a bad player or that you can't play professionally. It just means that you have to find that coach that is going to say, yes, I like you. I like the qualities that you have. Your skill sets match my system. We need you on my team. And something else that you guys have to remember is that soccer isn't like swimming or track and field where you're based on measurements or time, like how fast you can run or how far you can throw a javelin. Soccer is more complex than that. Yes, you can measure how fast a player can run or how accurate they can pass and their conversion rate from shots to goals and things like that. But as we all know, that's only a fraction or just a very small part of the game. There's a lot of other aspects of the game that you can't quantify, like your tactical understanding. Some parts of your technique you also can't quantify as well. And then there's also the team chemistry. Once you understand that soccer is a subjective game, you'll realize out of 100 people, you may hear 99 people say no. All you need is that one scout or that one agent or that one coach that says, yes, we think he can play at the professional level. And as soon as you can accept that, you'll start to understand that no actually stands for next opportunity. And when you have this positive mindset of, I'm just gonna keep going to the next opportunity, you're gonna be able to find that one person that is gonna say yes. For instance, guys, when I was in Sweden, I was there for three to four weeks and I had to try out for seven to eight different teams until I was able to play for IFK Lidingo. And because I wasn't frustrated with the process and I kept going and I kept trying, eventually I was able to get in front of the right people and impress the right coaches that were able to then allow me to get connected to other people who could help me out and place me on a team. And it doesn't matter who tells you that you're not good enough or that you won't be able to play professionally. To put this into perspective, guys, when I played in college, I only played eight minutes, eight total minutes of a college career. And so from 18 to 21 years old, I only played eight minutes of an actual like meaningful game, but I still believed in myself and I still believed in my abilities because I knew what I had inside of me and no one else knew that. And only you know what you have inside of you in order to keep going forward. So when I went overseas to Sweden and I gave it a try, I didn't care about any of that and it worked. So no matter who tells you, no, you're not good enough, or no matter who tells you at whatever level that you can't play, as long as you believe inside of you that you could play, then you can, you just have to keep trying. And like my soccer motivation video that I made prior, there's a lot of other guys that fall into this situation where you know they may have been told by other people, by other college coaches, scouts, agents, professional coaches, that no, you're not good, you're not gonna make it. But because they kept believing in themselves, because they kept trying and finding different avenues and different ways to get connected with the right people so that they could play, they eventually made it. And that's why I say guys, never give up on the dream. Again, like I said in my prior video, it's like writing a paper. When you write a paper, you start scribbling and erasing and Xing out stuff and you rewrite things. So never change the goal that you have of playing professionally. It may not work out going one way, so you may have to find another way of going about it to get to the same destination. And so overall guys, never get discouraged, never get frustrated. I don't care who it is that tells you you can't do it. 
Because honestly, if you were to hear my story from start to finish, there was nothing that would make you think that I could play overseas in Sweden. But I did it, just because I kept believing in myself. So whenever you guys get rejected by a coach, a scout, an agent, you can either say, man, maybe playing professionally isn't for me. Or you could have the mindset of, well, I'm just going to keep going to the next opportunity. I'm going to find that person that thinks I can play and that's willing to take a chance on me. So like I said, don't stop believing in your dreams. You may just have to find another way of going about it in order to reach it. So that's how I would look at rejection, guys. You can either look at it from a negative aspect or even a positive aspect where you're going, hey, I just need to find my next opportunity. And so with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching Footballer's Advice. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, guys.